making sailing noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's making sailing noises. Wow. Actually sailing, amazing. I bought this boat in March this year, 2023, and she was sinking from rainwater ingress and was a complete mess. And all the work that I've done over the last few months have been leading up to this moment, bringing the boat to a boatyard so that I can make permanent fixes and get this boat sailing properly. I knew this design was a safe, open ocean, cruising catamaran, but what I experienced in this week's video completely blew me away. Yeah, it took quite a bit of preparation to get to this point, so that's where this video will start. Thanks for watching. It really doesn't look too great, does it? But uh, it's just for official purposes communicating with other boats so yeah I've just painted it on there. I've got my friend Hushka coming tomorrow he's appeared in a few episodes so I need to sort out that hole so people can stay there. Yeah this is the state of things in here just like the old days I'm gonna be draining cleaning but don't worry I won't bore you with the footage. <laughs> seem like an inviting place to sleep right now. Two guys have come into the bay, one last night, Roel, came in with his one metre uh, draft sailing boat and he was like stuck on the mud but because the mud's so soft he couldn't move around. Anyway, he's anchored out there, I think he's going to accompany me when I take the boat to the boatyard uh, as a bit of a support boat. Um, I was also looking at getting a dinghy as well with a good engine on it. And yeah, another guy, Sil as well, he's working on a boat nearby so he's come to anchor in the bay. There's uh, a few of us now. <laughs> few lads living the boat life. It's nice what it's all about. Okay, there we go. No floorboards because of this pipe. It's been really windy the last few days. Anchor's held up really well, but it's meant that I've been too scared to go out with the boat. My parents are coming this weekend. Yeah, it might be a case of I hold on, hold on a little bit until they get here and then we can move the boat together in Amsterdam. If you'd have watched the videos of us cruising in Italy and Greece last year. You know me already. Yeah. Pushka, Pushka speaking. <laughs> and also when I came to view this boat 
Hushka was kind enough to join me for that very cold trip. Oh, what's my pleasure? Yesterday I picked up a dinghy, an engine. So the dinghy, I didn't really get this for the dinghy. The dinghy is uh, four meters 20. So it's a 420 dinghy. It's got a couple of air leaks, which it goes down after a couple of, after a day. Which is quite a hassle. It's quite a hassle. My experience with that, fixing dinghies over yeah. and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun. I'm just going to use this, a bit of like a, a support uh, vessel. boat <laughs> vessel here, <yeah>, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Massive thanks to Stuart for dropping off some lovely rope. Look at that. Brand new. Isn't it beautiful? can't start the engine now after uh, I ran it out of fuel I think I didn't have the vent open on the tank so I just cut out and then can't get it started again so carburetor maybe float might be stuck also let me introduce to you not only Hushka <laughs> but we've got a Raul over here hey guys Raul is in let me see on the camera this boat you mainly spend a lot of time in like the inland waterways but you're also gonna I think accompany me to the boatyard as well. Yeah, or, definitely, or, definitely, yeah. definitely. That's why I'm here, basically. Nice, nice. <laughs> so yeah, he's just coming anchored in the Yo. bay, and uh, we've got a little flotilla going on. We've also got Sil over there as well. He's coming around later as well. So uh, the plan now, we're just going to go for a little motor again around the bay uh, with the two strokes instead of the four strokes. Hushik is going to be the support class. Going to be in the support vessel. Oh crap, camera work. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just do a few circles and we shall uh, see how Mahi does again. with my outboard it works at really high revs but there's obviously, there's obviously some sort of fuel problem so well, here's the situation with super high revs and full choke Uh, it won't idle so there's different jets inside the car breaker. there's high speed low speed I'm guessing the low speed or the idling jets are crudded up
Okay, fingers crossed. That should be okay. Huge thanks to uh, Henk and Gina and also Cyril from Sailing Silverwind for these fenders beautifully modelled by Raoul. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> YouTubers! <laughs> Ready, okay, set, action! action. So, a lot of loose ends being tied up. Last night, still Raul and I, we actually rigged up this mast because there's potentially going to be uh, yeah, the wind coming from the aft when we make our way down to Amsterdam. So we've tied it off at the uh, kind of cleat things. I've also made a ladder for my mum as well, <laughs> which is quite cute. Yeah, my parents are on the ferry, so make a few final preparations and then, then we'll be off first light when there's the least amount of wind. But uh, it could potentially be quite windy. Welcome. Action. <laughs> Not bad for a 64 year old. Not bad for a 64 oh, year old. Oh, it's easy. It's amazing. <laughs> this is my shed that you'll be sleeping in. Mark, it's fantastic. Oh, Steve, isn't it? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, these are for you. Oh, really? Nice. Oh, there's a toilet there. That's your toilet. <laughs> woo woo. Get, one, get a good shot of your dad's bum. <laughs> yeah, it's alright there, isn't it? Honestly, yeah. Mark, yeah. we're going to be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Does this go here? Huh? Does this bit go there? No, that's the thing, I've not got floorboards. Oh, because the pipe comes out from the floor and uh, yeah, I can't move the pipe without sinking the boat. Oh, you, uh, Mark, you've got it so neat. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Honestly, no. there's hardly any cleaning. The galleys had the Mary Farmer <laughs> treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for a trip. So we're leaving very early in the morning. There's a few final preparations that we need to make. Yep, last night Raul and I decided to go out for a motor and my engine failed. And I was up late last night fixing it. It's, uh, it was a problem, something had come loose on the carburetor. So, yeah, it's working now. Thanks to Sil who picked us up. What a legend. Check out Sil's Instagram page. He's a renovated boat. He's a boat fella as well. So, check out his profile, link in the description. Steve's at it again. Fixing a rear rope to the dinghy so that we have a backup situation.
was probably designed in. Yeah, that's all right. Is that okay? Good solid lines. <laughs> Dad like rigging up sails. Yeah. <laughs> You'd never know you were a motorboater at this point. I'm just learning, aren't I? <laughs> and massive thanks to Sil for the tow last <laughs> night. No problem, bro. And the, and the sail. But yeah, we'll see how we'll fit it. Yeah. I think we might be thinking of uh, just turning it a complete 180 degrees. The wind is due to pick up directly from behind, so. We've got the, uh, the sail rigged up, hopefully, well, the main sail. That should give us half a knot to a knot. Also relieves the pressure on the engines as well. And still brought around his kind of storm jib, or the jibs from his boat. And uh, we'll fit the sail upside down, and it could just give us that extra bit of resistance to give us half a knot more, which will mean that we get to Durgadam, our first destination, a little bit faster, and uh, Raul is uh, enjoying the show. <laughs> Are they doing a good job? Perfect, like... <laughs> yeah, you like to watch YouTube while eating, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we this do. Is real right? life and eating. Real life YouTube, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Doing about 2.2 knots. We've not pushed the engines to the max, but uh, we'll keep them not at high revs and just uh, cruise along at two two knots. It's 1.7 knots now. The wind uh, is a little bit stronger out here. All right, so we're now coming over the dike, obviously still into the wind. As soon as we get around here, and actually a little bit further around, uh, we'll have the wind behind us, so we can turn our one point three knot speed into hopefully three knots. Yeah, the boat is remarkably solid. There's no like flexing. I mean, we are going into the wind, but yeah, she's holding a course. She goes in a straight line really well. It's happening, we're doing it, we're doing it. And the really, really amazing thing about this place is the depth is, you know, three meters maximum. So if something goes wrong, we can always drop the anchor and in these swells, they're just quite short, you know, we could lie at anchor and sort any problems out.
yeah, the speed's picked up now to a whopping 2.5 knots. Uh, I think the sail is helping a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, the wind and the waves come in directly from the side now, so it's not very comfortable. But once we get past the lighthouse over there, it sh we should be on a pretty good angle. And finally, downwind, 3.5 knots. We're gonna get the other sail up and see what speeds we can do. How are we doing guys? Successful so far. Yeah, so far, so good. Absolutely. Yeah. Feels so safe. Yeah. Yeah, you can. No, I only know it. Now we're downwind. It's so nice. It was a little bit. Yeah. On the beam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it felt safe. Yeah. Dan has joined us today. So Dan is the guy who actually found this boat and sent it to me. He was in uh, the first episode uh, where, well, basically when I bought this boat. So yeah, super nice of him to come so early in the morning. Yeah, he's been a good helmsman. We are officially sailing. Amazing. Uh, what did you say? 2.5 knots? Yeah, it's only one, one knot less than. Yeah. One knot less than the engines, with the engines. And this. <laughs> oh my. So uh, proud of you. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Making sailing noises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's making sailing noises. Wow. We're sailing now. Actually sailing. Amazing. Super happy.
straight across the English Channel. So we've got the engines on but they're in neutral, the wind is coming from the beam and we're doing two knots on a beam reach with this, <laughs> unbelievable, eh? Hey? unbelievable, I love this, I love this, I love it. We're going for the for the authentic Dutch bitter bowl. <laughs> yeah. And you haven't eaten it. Yeah, don't look at this. It's, it's a mess, but uh, <laughs> it, will be, it will be good. If you're not planing and you foil, I mean, you can kick it up, but you're just gonna go up and you're gonna stall backwards and it's gonna just, it's gonna go too slow. So keep it planing and then slowly as you position your, and your front foot, you're gonna want it at an angle of like 45 degrees from the middle. So yeah, here I am in the boatyard. <laughs> yeah, everything has been leading up to this. And yeah, in next week's video, you'll see us going through Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm not gonna give too much away. We get lifted out and you'll see the condition of everything below the waterline. So what do you guys reckon? Is it gonna be good or bad? You'll have to find out next week. Check everyone's profile in the description. You've got Sil, Roll, Roll's doing a YouTube channel, so check out his channel, that's like Sailing Backstage. Thanks to Dan, my mom, my dad, and yeah, everyone who yeah, gave me fenders, and thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Of course, uh, massive thanks to my PayPalers and Coffeeers and Patreons. Uh, of course, if you're subscribed, then you'll know exactly uh, how everything's gone, because I've just been uploading little uh, videos, just easy ones to upload because it's been quite stressful. A lot of aeroplanes around here. It's been a lot of work getting to this point, so just uploading a video easily to you guys has been, yeah, easy. So thank you so much. From now on, there's going to be proper videos. Yeah, every week, a steady stream. I've already started quite a lot of work, and uh, yeah. It's a case of starting as I mean to go on. Because I have to leave this boatyard in September, there's no space here over winter, so I have a lot of work to do. And of course, I'm gonna be getting lots of help. I'm gonna be going through old emails and getting people to help out. Uh, if you're still available to help and you wanna come down, I can't offer any accommodation, but you can come and help and work out. Come and help and work out. You can work out as well if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and also as well, if you've got this far, make sure you check out Sailing Melody's channel because, yeah, I feel really bad for those guys. They, the boat was in a lock, it, the water went out, and the boat now looks to have sustained quite a lot of serious damage. So go check them out, give them some love, because, yeah, they've got a lot of work ahead of them. And it's going to be very interesting to see how they sort it out. 
Anyway, thank you so much. Next week, another epic video. We'll find out the true flipping aeroplanes, the true condition of this boat. <laughs>